We're going to examine the middle blocking technique of Maya Poljak, one of the best blockers in the world, and see if we can pick apart a couple things that she does well that you might put into the skill set of your middle blockers. Certainly she's tall and moves well side to side, but she also does some things that all blockers can do with practice. Please understand that you get good at what you practice the most and generally blocking is a weak skill because we don't practice it very much. So it has to become a priority in practice. But one of the things that she does that is worth noting is that when there's no quick attacker, she starts a little bit farther away from the net than normal. So as you can see here, she starts almost a meter and a half away from the net. And then as she moves towards the attacker on the outside, she'll angle her foot movement in an angle towards the net. As you can see here, she's well behind the outside blocker, and all her moves are going to be now forward to the attacker and forward to the ball. One of the problems that so many blockers have is they're so close to the net when they leave the ground is their first movement with their hands is back behind her head so they don't hit the net. As you can see here, she's well behind the outside blocker, and, and then she'll angle her footwork to the point of attack. So all of her movements are going to be forward, and I think this allows her and you know any other blocker to make them move with their hands forward rather than up. So this might be something that you try with your middle blockers for sure, and potentially with your outside blockers. So here we see more of a live scenario where she starts off the net and, and then angles to, to the outside blocker from off the net towards the net and then reaches over the net with her hands. So this might be something that, uh, that you want to experiment with. The other thing that she does that's worth noting is that her outside hand never gets outside of her shoulder. So many blockers, especially middle blockers, they reach away from the middle of the court. They reach towards the outside blocker. And you can see as she moves to the outside, there's rotation with her core. Her, her right hand, in this case, extends straight over, to the, over from her shoulder, and she reaches back to where she wants the ball to be blocked to. So this is something that can be practiced, that you do drills to go to the outside, reach over with your outside hand, and not reach towards the outside blocker. As you can see in this clip, there was a big dynamic move to the outside, but then once she left the ground, as you can see, everything is channeled back to the middle of the court. There is no leaking of her right hand out to the outside blocker. So the takeaway from all this is we'd like for you to experiment with maybe starting your blocker a little bit farther away from the net than normal and see how, how it works as she moves towards the net to block and see if that helps get the hands over the net. We want the, the blockers to reach to where they want the ball to go. Don't reach away from the, from the body towards the outside blocker. Work with your blockers on moving their hands in the air and this will require some core strength and rotational core strength. As mentioned earlier, we need to practice blocking more and hopefully these tips will help your team and middle blockers become stronger at this skill.